Okay, today's chat is all about breathing. So you might not think that breathing is very important for violin players as we are not like a flute player or a saxophonist or a singer and using our lungs to play the music. Actually, it is just as important, if not potentially more important, which I will explain to you now. So when we're breathing, we are allowing our body to be in a state of flow. When we stop breathing, we stop being in that state of flow. So you may have heard of musicians being in the moment or being in the flow and, you know, that kind of idea of being able to let go and how you achieve that state. Now, if you stop breathing, you will not achieve that state. That is 100% guaranteed. However, if you keep breathing when you're playing, you're more likely to be in that state. Now, the reasons for why are you could look at it from a science perspective and think about if you're not breathing, oxygen is not getting into your system and therefore your muscles will get tired more easily. So violinists in particular, you'll feel achy arms sometimes. And um, especially if you're quite new to it or you've been playing for a while and you're not used to playing for a very long time. So the kind of breathing that will help you, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not sure why I'm coughing right now, but that's quite interesting, um, is the short, sharp breath. So if you find yourself approaching a passage and your arms are aching quite a lot, or if you're going through anxiety and you're scared that you won't be able to play something that you normally can play quite well if you're on your own, this type of breathing works really well. Okay, so I don't know why I'm picking up my violin for this because it's entirely unnecessary, um, but the breathing is... <sighs> So it's as though you were trying to suck as much air into your nose as you possibly can in one go. So say if I'm on stage and I'm about to play something that might go wrong if I was to have a moment of self-doubt. Uh, and the moment I feel that self-doubt creeping in, I give myself one shot of... And normally by the time I finish that breath, I've got through the passage, played, played it absolutely fine. And it's just gone past and my brain's out of... The picture I'm not thinking about it because when you're breathing in that way somehow it seems to bypass that thought process of oh how am I going to get through this at the same time if you're practicing or playing or performing and your muscles are starting to hurt that same breath really helps now that's just like an emergency breath I would call that um, however when you're playing it's also a really good idea to learn how to attune sorry not attune um, how to connect your breathing to your playing. So when you're practicing, you could do, for example, nice, just long bows to start with and try to do like an in-breath with uh, one direction and an out-breath with the other direction. But don't get too hung up on making your breathing line up with the bow direction change because then it becomes unnatural. But you can start that way, okay, just to make sure that you are breathing. And the type of breathing that you should do is called yogic breathing. So if anybody has experience with yoga, then they would have tried this breathing type before. Um, pranayama is a yogic word for different types of breath. So it's worth looking at pranayama videos to learn different types of breathing. But this one um, in particular is the same breathing that we do when we're trying to calm the nervous system down. So. <clears throat> It's deep breathing into the stomach. So we're not breathing just using shallow breath, which is the lungs, but we're stomach breathing. So you want to put a hand on your stomach for this. And I want you to breathe in through the nose. Constrict the back of the throat. As though you were doing on a window on a cold day so you could write on it. So it's like that kind of throat. Okay, so constrict the back of the throat in a way that you would do if you wanted to put some steam on a, on a cold window or a mirror. And that's how we're going to breathe. So you might find that you can hear yourself breathing like... And place your hand on your stomach so that you can feel whether your belly is going out when you breathe in. Because if you are, then that means the diaphragm muscle is expanding and that's the kind of breathing we want to be doing. So the diaphragm muscle is that muscle underneath the lungs. I'm sure all of you know what this is. Um, but when you breathe in, you want to expand that muscle so that the lungs fill up with air, much like a balloon. 
and then when you breathe out obviously it it relaxes again so you can feel that if you put your hand on the belly so constrict the back of the throat breathing in through the nose fill up as much as you can and then breathe out through the nose Okay, so I'm going to do one more cycle of that. So if you didn't join me last time, join me now. Place your hand on your stomach. We're going to breathe in. One, two, three. And when your lungs are full, out in the same way. So you can pick up your instrument if you have it handy, or if not, then just remember this. So I want to try and sync the breathing with the playing now. So I'm just going to pick a note and I'm going to breathe in on the down bow and out on the up bow. And then after a few rounds of that, I'm going to let go of when I'm breathing in and out and just make sure that I check in with myself now and again, see if I am breathing. should we breathe when we play so we've talked about scientific reasons oxygen going to muscles you know i'm not a doctor so i can't give you the specifics of that um but i've also noticed that when i'm breathing that kind of breath generally my playing tends to be a less mistakes there are less mistakes and b smoother so there are less bumps in the bow and you know that kind of thing because when we're breathing and we're in flow, our body relaxes and then physical tension is less likely to be held in places where it might usually be held. So you will find that the more that you train yourself to ensure that you're doing yogic breathing whilst you're performing or practicing, just get into the habit of checking in with that. And if you don't already practice any kind of yoga, get into that because that's the way to really learn the breathing. Um, there's all sorts of free yoga channels out there. I don't need to tell you that. I'm sure you've seen them before. Um, but practicing breath work and integrating that with your playing just by trying to be aware of it. So ask yourself now and again, simple question, am I breathing? And if you're not, then try to start doing deep belly breaths. And over time, you will automatically do it to a point where it will just happen automatically in the same way when you start a car. You know, you don't need to then tell the engine to run, it just goes. And that's how it becomes. And your breathing becomes part of the dance of performing. OK, so I'm going to wrap that up there. Um, I'll do some more videos on this topic and related topics, because breathing for me is extremely important when it comes to performing. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done already. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to click the notification. Not <laughs> notification bell if you want to stay updated with my latest videos so there you go i stopped breathing i was just breathing out because i didn't stop talking and that's when i made a mistake see ah